Wow, the fans are certainly into this game. Officials for this game. Andy Van Helleman's getting the call. He got soundly booed here. I, good referee, just people on him a little bit. Linesman Ryan Bozak. Sweet knocks to help him out. Andy Moe can go for the Boston Bruins today. He's played in 39 of the 67 games at 2.80 goals against average. And is working on a two-game win streak. Get something going for the playoffs. He'd love that. And we're underway. Jacques Cloutier in the nets for Chicago. Doug Wilson in his own end. Poulin starting at center with Gould on the right and Prop on the left. And working it out. Over the line comes Thomas. Moves for a shot and a save by Moe. And the Bruins have to do better checking than that as Thomas really walked in. A great individual effort by Thomas. And that we don't want to see. Now, I think the Bruins, the key to this game is I think they get better expect to be hit. And hit hard and often. Discipline stay out of the box. Chicago goaltending suspect gets some shots on them. Take the crowd out of this game. And to do that, you got to be skating and you've got to be scoring. They really won the faceoffs yesterday and Poulin won another one there. And here's a three on two in the middle. Pop, the shot, the save, Touche. And Troy Murray winding up. Bork penetrates, keeps it in. Doug Wilson firing it up. Gould checks the play, keeps it in. Poulin looking for Gould, intercepted by Thomas again. A three on two for Chicago. Graham to Murray. Murray looks for a line change. Gets it away for Yorny. Yorny broken up. And a penalty coming up on Boston. With the score of Boston nothing, Chicago nothing. We'll be back in a moment. There's Peterson stepping to take Graham. A little bit on a high stick. Took the legs out from under him. A little too enthusiastic. Going to find himself in the box for a couple of minutes. Got to stay out of that penalty. And on the faceoff, Carpenter. Move it. Bob Murray moves it in front for a backhander. Kicked away. Bruins can't clear. Weaver tried to a shot. A great save there by Moe. Moe making the stops. And Carpenter finally able to clear it. One shot by Jeremy Roman. Ronick is out there. The other by Bob Murray. Ronick to center ice on a power play. The flip in for Creighton too far. Moe trying to clear it. And Moe gets it away on the right side for Bob Sweeney who fires it up. Got a little lax, Fred. They're just kind of gliding in here. This power play early. Ronick clears it in. Bolt, a right hand clear up the boards. Carter can't get it. Bork fighting for it in the corner against Ronick. Down the boards, or rather against Brian Noonan. Talking about Boston boys. And Brian Noonan is out there. Born in Boston. Summers in Boston. Poulin breaks it up outside the line and loses it. And away comes Thomas. Thomas over the line and the power play for Chicago. In for Noonan. And a block by Moog. Turns it again and Moog is ready for him. Brian Noonan had two chances on the power play. Clear cut. Yorny a shot. Tipped wide by Moog and deflected into the stands. It is a beleaguered Andy Moog here at the start. How important is a goaltender to your hockey club? You just really, there's no doubt in my mind, they should be the highest paid of all of them. They can do the job in day in, day out. Right here, Noonan coming in, gets loose on Mogi, kind of just pokes it away. Then he's got to respond to Noonan turning the net. Does that well, but the two slap shots in the slot earlier, the left leg and the right leg, or it's a one nothing hockey game at this point, and then things start to pile up on you. Rona comes back out. So the two local boys are very prominent in the Chicago attack. Jeremy Rolick, a rookie. Ryan Noonan called up from their farm team. Murray was the top scorer in Indianapolis. Carpenter wins the draw. Bork on it quickly, checked in deep. Gilbert able to break it up, keep it in. In the corner, fought for. Out of it comes Rolick. The pass in front for Gilbert. It's blocked. A backhander in front. Blocked by Moog. Held off again as Murray moved in. Chicago on the power play all over the Bruins. And this was set up by a, a tremendous play by Jeremy Ronick. Very cute. He slid it into the man in the corner, goes out front. Sweeney takes Ronick down. The backhand mode gets to see. Yes, gets a glove on it. That's Bob Murray on that backhand. Right there. Ronick to Larmer. Just a, tried the one-timer. The 
Gilbert just couldn't get any wood on it. 27 seconds left on Peterson's penalty. Opening minutes, no score, thanks to Andy Moe. Six shots already by Chicago. One for Boston. Ronick on the faceoff with Carpenter along the boards. It is not cleared out. Bob Murray keeps it in. Over to Doug Wilson, left point. Bob Murray, the shot, the save. Bruins just cleared outside the line. Carpenter hauled down by Murray, and Chicago will be short of end in 13 seconds. Great play by Bobby Carpenter. He just ran right at Murray, expected Murray to haul him down, and he did. Murray had no idea the puck was just behind him. And he knew he couldn't get to it, so I'm going to take Carpenter. Then he takes his hand off the stick, turns him around. Bob Sweeney dumped by Bob Murray. Bob Carpenter. 13 seconds left on Peterson's penalty. So each team short a man for the 13 seconds. Then the Bruins go on a power play. Seven shots Chicago, one for Boston. It's, they take a little time to pile yeah. him up here and, and uh, put him down on the computer or however they keep track of him. Chicago switching bodies around. Bob and Linda Harris from Pittsfield Mats here. Want to say hello to their 85-year-old grandmother, big Bruins fan back home. Janney and Neely are out there now on the power play. Jim Weaver in action. Ray Bork, they're on defense. Yorney, check. Janney trying to move it in front. Couldn't quite connect with Neely. Gets it behind the net. In the power play, a quick pass in front. Deflected away, and Yorney gets it. Pass out, stopped by Weimer. Bruins are on the power play now. Trying to get organized. Intercepted by Troy Murray. His shot missed the net. Weimer, a very careless pass. Back comes Janney. Janney works it three over the line. Still going, trying to move in. Stopped by Graham, who picks it up. Graham skates in front of the net. Checked by Neely. Hall down. No call. Back now comes Janney. His pass stopped by Graham. Graham checked. And now it is cleared by Yorney. One Excellent seven. hustle by Cam Neely there, Fred. Stay on his man. Weimer winding up. Way to Janney in the power. Uh, Janney now from Prop. Can't connect. Prop is on the power play. Manson trying to drill it out. It is kept in by Wesley. Knocked away to center ice now by Chicago. Bork back. This one could be icing. Bruins. No icing call. The Hawks able to clear it out. Larmer is tripped. Uh, he, he helped it out with a little bit of a dive. And uh, Van Hellemond is going to keep things in control. And a hooking call. And out goes Wesley. And a power play later for Chicago. No score in the game. We're at Chicago Stadium on TV 38. Number 26. Right here, this is what Andy Van Hellem is calling. A little tug on the hip. Down goes Larmer. Sending a message if you're going to... Start fooling around with the stick. I'm going to be calling everything, so he's going to try to keep control of this game. Sending that word to both benches early. Each team short of end. 35 seconds left on the Bob Murray penalty. And 15-51 left in the first period. No score. Seven shots. Chicago, one for Boston. Galley looking for some skating room off the board. Stopped by Yawney. And the Hawks started right back. Troy Murray broke it up. Got it over the line, but offside as Bob Sweeney checked that one on Troy Murray. Both, both Murray and Sweeney playing the puck there. Neither one of them taking bodies. That can be dangerous. The whole right side of the building was open. Don Sweeney standing, waiting to see the end result. Galley is on with Don Sweeney on defense. Bob Sweeney up front with Dave Christian. 13 seconds. Hawks will get their second power play. You know, Fred, talking to a couple of the Blackhawks down, downstairs in the belly of this building prior to the game, they are amazed at the Boston Bruins play. They said that it's the best defensive hockey club they've played all year, that they just don't have time to, to do anything with their opportunities, which is quite a compliment. Hey. On the faceoff, Galley with it. Galley away to Don Sweeney. Don Sweeney trying to rush, and he's hauled down on the play by Manson. Out comes Bob Murray. Power play Chicago. 1.18 left on that power play. Manson broken up by John Carter and cleared away. Great play by Carter. Nice anticipation. Threw a head fake to the right. 
forced to pass left and picked it off. Potter checking the play on Larmer. It's backhanded in deep. Adam Creighton wraps it around. Larmer there. Checked on the play. The Bruins 